Hey guys, today we are going to learn how to make these really cute hooded towels. We got Minnie Mouse there with the 3D ears and the removable bow. We've got the girl minion, I think her name is Marigold. We've got a llama with the 3D ears. So today we are going to do a dinosaur. So I have my towels ready for that. I got a gray bottom and I got a gray hand towel. So this is just a regular bath towel. Let me turn it around where you can see. I get mine at Walmart. Just a regular bath towel. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is um the the hand towel to match. And we're gonna put a dinosaur on it. So what do you need is your five by seven. Your five by seven hoop with one piece of tear away. I'm gonna do my dinosaur this green color. So I'm using fleece, but you could use leather, you could use vinyl, you could use flannel, the regular cotton if you wanted. Um, this just happened to be the color that I wanted my dinosaur, so I'm using fleece. And my dinosaur pattern has um, some little accents on it, so I'm going to use this gold vinyl that I get from my punk broidery. And of course, your thread to match. I have the design loaded into the machine. Let's go get started. Alright guys, so what I've done is I've took my hand towel and I've cut it in half lengthwise. See, this is the other half. I cut it in, in half along the, the long side. Okay. Then I took my ruler, just a ruler like this, and I measured up one half inch. Let me see if I can get you to see this. And I drew a line. And that's where I lined my towel up on that line. The center, I folded it in half, found the center, lined the center up with your center parts on your, on your frame here, the little dashes. These. I lined it up on the center and then I lined it up on this line right here and I've pinned it in place. You're also going to need a piece of this um, topper really thin wash away stabilizer. I'm not going to put it on just yet. I'm going to do my fleece. I'm going to put this piece on first and trim it and then put my wash away on top of it so that I only have one layer of wash away. All right, let's head to the machine. Okay, here we are at the machine. Sorry, get my fingers out of your way. This is the dinosaur that I'm going to do. And I'm going to put it on my towel that I have lined up on this line. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button right here. And I'm going to move my needle to the bottom. You see how it started at the bottom? And I'm going to line my needle up with the bottom of this right here so that my dinosaur lays straight on that. See, just like that. So that my dinosaur is straight where that the ribbon, this piece, like the, the, the binding piece of the towel. So I want my dinosaur to lay right across the bottom here. So that's what I've got. Now I'm going to run the die line for the dinosaur which is this oh I hit a button which is this piece right here and that's pretty much going to be the the body of the dinosaur face okay what that's done is it's sewn around here give me a die line of where I want my dinosaur piece I mean my green for my dinosaur to be so I'm going to lay this over it, making sure that I cover all the placement lines, all of these lines. Curve it all up good. Make sure it's laying flat. And then I'm going to run step two, which pretty much looks exactly like step one, except that one's going to tack our green down to the towel. All right, guys, see, it sewed the green down right here to our towel. 
Now we take, need to take it off. Out of the machine. And we need to trim as close as we can all the way around. All the way around our dinosaur. Just the green, not the towel. Don't make sure not to cut any of the towel. Just cut the green. I'm going to do that and I'll meet you right back here. All right, here we are. I've got mine trimmed really close to the stitch line. You want to get as close as you can, but you don't want to hit any of your threads. The designer, um, I got this design when the company was called French Frills. I believe the name of it is called Sweet and Sassy, maybe. I'll look it up and link a, put a link in the description for you. But um, So now what it's going to do, we're going to put this back on the machine. And it's going to do the little pieces here. They're going to go around the dinosaur like his spiky things. And they are also applique. And I'm going to use gold. So I'm going to run that placement, them placement lines. And I'll meet you right back here. I almost forgot. You need to take your piece of thin piece of wash away. And put it over your um, design, over your dinosaur like that. All right, there's the die lines that it did for the little spiky pieces. Now we're going to take our piece of leather vinyl whatever you're going to use you could use fabric you could use fleece make sure you cover up all the placement lines and then i'm going to run the next step which is going to take the, the leather the vinyl pieces down or the spiky pieces depending on what material you use down to the dinosaur All right, guys, see, it's tacked down the pieces for the spiky, the, the vinyl that I'm using for the spiky pieces. So now you need to trim all the way around all of these, leaving, leaving the centers. So trim around here, get rid of all of this extra, and leave the centers. I'm going to do that, and I'll meet you right back here. All right, guys, got that trimmed out. Now what it's going to do... Is the three horn pieces this one this one and this one see them here I'm gonna do the three horn pieces I'm gonna do mine in white so the first thing it's gonna do is put down the placement lines All right. it's done our placement lines now what we're gonna do is lay our white down covering up the pieces I'm sorry covering up the pieces all of these um, the placement lines I'm using a piece of scrap so mine's not big enough for all three but I'll stop the machine and lay my third piece in right here Alright guys, see it tacked my pieces down. Now we're going to trim around the horn pieces, leaving the inside. Trim all the way around it. I'm going to do that and meet you right back here. Alright guys, I've got mine trimmed. That's what our dinosaur looks like so far. Now what it's going to do is these eye bags that are above the eyes, the little lids of the eyes. And they're right there if you can see them. I, these are applique pieces. I don't want mine applique. Um, I'm just going to do mine the color thread uh, of my dinosaur just to give it some like dimension or whatever. So I'm going to do mine this green color. And I'll meet you right back here.
All right, guys, I was mistaken. It's the white around his eye. So I did do mine white. If you look in the design here, you can see right around the eye. It's hard to see from the white background, but there's white around his eye. Oh, that's the next step. So now we're going to put the black in his eye. I'm going to run that, and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, I put the color in his eye. Now it's going to do his pupil. Okay, that's where we're at so far. Now I've changed my thread back to white, and it's going to do the like reflection or whatever just a little glint of something in his eye All right, so there you go you can see put his little glint right here in his eye I think he's really cute now it's going to do the detailing in him I was going to run these lines I'm going to do mine in green I'm going to see it do the detailing in his forehead, like his wrinkles. Now it's going to do all the way around him, except for the spiky pieces and the, and the horns. We only have three steps left to go. All right, guys, look how cute he is. It defined his face. Did up above his eye. Down below his eye. Gave him a lot more wrinkles. Now what it's going to do is it's going to go around all of these. I'm going to change my thread color to gold. And do that step. That's step 13. All right, see, it went around the spike pieces of the satin stitch. Now it's going to go around the horns, the three horns. And that's our last step, guys.
All right, guys, it's sewed around the horns, and it's finished embroidering. So let's go turn this half a towel into a hooded towel. All right, here we are finished. This is what it looks like. This is the front of the hoop. This is what the back of the hoop looks like. And now we're going to take our pins out. And you're going to pull this off. It just pulls off. Just really easy. All the way around. If you kind of just pull and wiggle this back and forth, it, it'll pull off. Okay, we can remove the rest later. You can take a damp paper towel, dab it on there, any remaining one, and the, the damp paper towel will, will remove it. All right, so let me get all this out of the way. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is just pull our towel off of our hoop. I'm going to switch camera. Okay, so I've pulled the towel off the hoop. This is the tearaway stabilizer on the back. You can remove that if you want. I'm going to keep mine on. You can trim the threads if you want, things like that. Just be careful not to cut any of the knots. Oh, he's so cute. can finish this trimming up the threads later. yeah we're gonna finish trimming up the threads later what we're gonna do now is lay the towel face up and bring your ends together so you're putting pretty side to pretty side so inside here is where our face of our dinosaur is and we're gonna sew right line these up and sew right down here and that's gonna make our hood part so let's go to the sewing machine. Okay, here we are at the machine. And what I've done is I've lined up the the edges here. And these are going to be stress points where kids are going to pull on them and things like that. So you really want to sew a little back stitch, sew a little back stitch, sew a little back stitch. You want to really reinforce this, this seam. Uh, my machine only does a straight stitch. If you, you have a machine that does a zigzag, that might would be a little better. Just zigzag down it two or three times. If you have a serger, that would be even better. So what I'm going to do is around a quarter of an inch, I'm going to start and back stitch. And I'm going to do this all the way down. Just kind of making sure I reinforce this step, this, this stitches. <clears throat> okay, then we
we can turn it out. Pluck out the tip. Cut your threads. And there's your hood. And he's so cute. He is adorable. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna go and get the big towel now. Alright, here's my big towel. And what I have is the long side of the towel. Right here. This is the long side of the towel. Um, the pretty side of the towel is up. How you can tell the pretty side is if you'll look at the fold or where you know the tag or whatever it is you can see the fold the hem you can see what side is the pretty side and what I did to find the center is I folded it in half let me remove this I folded it in half and where the fold is at is the center okay so now I've opened it up I've got the long part. I've got a little clip here or pen or a piece of tape, whatever you have to mark it. Again, I've got the pretty side up. So I'm going to lay my hood like this. So there's the seam. Here's the hood pocket. I'm going to lay it just like this, lining this seam up with my clip. And then I'm going to clip it together. Come up here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to start here very slowly because you've got some layers right here. So start very slow on your machine and then do the same back and forth stitch that you did on the, the towel part. My foot walked away from me. There it goes. going to have my seam here open so I run my finger down there I'm going to open it oh my thread just broke Okay, let's head back over to the counter and I'll show you how to fold it. Okay, so what I have here is my towel laid out with my hood up. And I've folded my towel in thirds, lengthwise. Okay, so I'm going to take this side and I'm going to roll it up. Then I'm going to take this side and I'm going to roll it up. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to take a rubber band. Just to hold it temporarily. And put it right there so it kind of stands up on its own. And I'm going to fold the hood part down. Make sure all my layers are straight in here. And it's nice and pretty. So it looks like that. Okay. Everything's folded down. Here's my hood back here folded down. Okay, now I'm going to take the rubber band off and put the rubber band around here. 
I put mine right up under that seam. Just like that. Right up under that seam. And it kind of holds it together. And then you bring your hood up. Take your piece of ribbon. If you like. If you don't like, then don't. Thank you both. And then bring your hood up and kind of put it on in. Just around like that. And there's your dinosaur towel. Like this. Isn't he cute? He's adorable. There we go. <clears throat> Thank you for spending a couple of minutes out of your day with me. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and share. And I hope you have a great day.